crazy. I don't know what. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go right now. Sing happy birthday at school, but we're gonna celebrate at home this weekend, okay? Daddy, what about my soccer game? Oh, right, the soccer game. What, is it at six o'clock? No, Daddy, five o'clock. Five o'clock, all right, I promise I'll be there. No matter what? No matter what. Now, come on, you're gonna be late, I'm gonna be late, we're all gonna be late, all right? But come, okay, it's important. I go, I just, I, I gotta go. It's a big day. You'll be good. You'll be great. You'll be great. All right, bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Sorry I'm late. Just dropping Jessica off at school. Ah, oh, the family man. You better keep your eye on the ball, otherwise you might just lose it. Yes, well, I'm here now, aren't I? Hey, Mr. B. Hey, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Is your daughter playing in this soccer game? Yes, sir. Good. Go blue. Go blue, yes, sir. And in five, four, three, two. Today is a banner day in the scientific community. The famed Zero Point Collider, a decade in the making, is coming online. Our guests this hour are financier Leonard Tarski and Dr. Victor Suskin, partners behind the famed Super Collider. It's been a long road, gentlemen. How does it feel to be at the finish line? Uh, well, frankly, Nancy, it uh, feels more like we're at the starting blocks. It's been a long road indeed, but when Dr. Suskin first approached me with his dream, Zero point energy, I felt inspired to commit 100%. Dr. Suskind, many people have raised concerns that the unprecedented energy levels you'll be working with can cause grave unintended consequences. How do you address these concerns? Well, while it's human nature to be afraid of change, it's not always necessarily warranted. Uh, Y2K would come to mind. It's important for people to remember is that we are constantly being bombarded by cosmic rays that are much more powerful than anything we could create on Earth. Our experiment here is to examine those particles in a completely controlled environment. Hmm. I've been led to understand that the cosmic rays you're referring to are rare and diffuse. That's rather different than smashing beams of protons directly into each other at light speed, is it not? Well, in theory there is a possibility of danger, but We've incorporated the most stringent safeguards and we can shut it down at a moment's notice. Uh, let me just uh, jump in here, Nancy. Um, we have 23 nations and the best minds in the world supporting the Zero Point Collider. It's the obvious next step. Now we've untangled the mysteries of the Higgs field. No respectable nuclear physicist believes there's any risk of a disaster whatsoever. So let's not give the crazies the reins now, shall we? What about cost? With over 30 billion and the United States 
funding nearly 80% of the investment, is it worth it? Well, I um, will admit to some bias here, Nancy, but the promise of Zero Point is that of unlimited clean energy. We are talking about the potential for power to be drawn from the quantum flux of space-time itself. Unlimited, clean, free energy for everyone. If that's not worth $30 billion in a decade of my life, uh, I don't know what is. Well, Dr. Suskind, Mr. Tarski, we wish you the best of luck on your venture. Thank you very much, Nancy. Thank you. And we're clear. Anything the matter, Victor? No, I'm just a little nervous. It's a big day. Absolutely. You should be very proud. It's a hell of a milestone. Yeah. I got another paranoid phone call from Gordon Stewart. Threw off my whole morning. Very excited to hear that. I need help, and I hope he gets it soon. It was a shame we had to let him go, but uh, couldn't be avoided. Yeah. What'd you say? Oh, I don't know. I let it go to voicemail. He's been emailing me as well. Emailing? What was in the, uh, the emails? I have no idea. Hey, Roberts, are we ready for this? Just wrap it up now, Vic. atomic clock, I assume. What? We'll take a look. This is our reading, and this is what we're getting from the USNO. That's like a two-second discrepancy. Two seconds at least, and rising. These are atomic clocks. How is that even possible? What do we do? Well, let's shut it down until we figure out what the problem is. Where's Leo? Why is Leo not here? Get him on the phone right now. saying we're five seconds ahead of where we're supposed to be. It's crazy. There must be some kind of calibration problem. I say we take it offline and just iron out all the bugs. Our downtime costs us 20 million dollars a day, so there's absolutely no way I'm going to be approving that. Unless there's a risk of real damage, we move forward. Time discrepancy is up to six seconds, Vic. Listen, Leo, there's something seriously wrong with our atomic clock. And... Wait, what is this now? Now we're seeing some sort of power drain. I appreciate your caution, but sometimes you need to be bold, Victor. We cannot afford a shutdown. Please proceed. Six and a half seconds discrepancy, Vic. Now there's this power drain. It's like a whole new detector just came online. I'm reading a time shift of seven seconds. How is this possible? None of it makes any sense.
I'm sorry, who is this? It's Chuck, man. Were you expecting the Dalai Lama? I'm out front. You want to be late for work? Uh, I, I, I gotta check on my wife and daughter. Uh, listen, dude. Get out of your funk. You can call your ex-wife from the car. All right, look, you don't want to lose your job, too, all right? Not in this economy. Oh, okay, okay. with him now? You are starting to freak me out, man. Oh, I think I found your cell phone. Yeah. Hello? Hey, it's me. Natalie, thank God. Where are you? I need to see you. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of why I called. I, um, I'm in jail again, okay, Rick? I, I need you to come and get me. You're in jail? What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I, I don't need the third degree, all right? Just need you to bail me out. Okay, just, just tell me where you are. I'll pick you up. You know where I am. The jail on 3rd Street. Get down here. 3rd and Main. Come right away. See you soon. I need to borrow your car. What? Natalie's in trouble. I gotta go. Thanks. 
jail. Shocker. I need to borrow your car, Chuck, please. Take a cab, please. Thanks, man. serious D and D that's what happened D and D what is that drunk and disorderly Vic does that ring a bell Frank of course look you gotta get her back in the program or you gotta find her some help I know you're divorced but you're the only one she's got right now Sure. At least, you know, this time he showed up the same day she called. But you gotta quit blaming her for your daughter's death. some help with you. This woman knows me. She doesn't know you, Vic. She's got MRS. 
MRS. What are you talking about? She's got memory relapse syndrome. What are, what's wrong with you? Natalie, this is Dr. Emily Roberts. She was with me at the time of the accident. we're seeing after Jessica's... You don't remember anything, do you? I thought I did. I anyway, just... um, look. Just go see her, okay? She's she's waiting for you, and I know you don't want to, but you've got to do it as soon as possible. I really don't think I'm crazy. I know, I know, but just go see her. You have no memories of the past four years? I'm not sure. Not sure. Remember some things. Do you remember walking out on our sessions? Abandoning your therapy? No. I don't remember you at all, I'm sorry. What do you remember, Victor? Well, there were no tornadoes, for one thing. Natalie was... She was different. She was different. Every, everything... Everything was different. What about your daughter? Jessica. Do you remember your daughter? Yes, of course I remember her, like it was yesterday. She was turning seven. Victor, your daughter died when she was three. You are an intelligent man. You know the loss of a child can be very hard on the psyche. What do you think is happening? I saw somebody that I, I remember from before. From before your daughter died? Uh, no. From before everything got screwed up. From before the accident, the collider. And this collider accident, as you call it, don't you think that's suspect? Suspect, yeah, I think it's completely suspect because that's where everything started. There, there was some strange power outage and, and the clock was off. 
An accident at the collider, Victor. Yeah. Your daughter died when she was hit by a car. She died in a collision, Victor. Think about it. Okay, so this... This... The MRS, what is that? Memory relapse syndrome. Vic, come on now. I don't know what you're talking about. Memory relapse syndrome is a form of mass hysteria, which has been recently diagnosed. It's gotten a lot of press, Vic. Symptoms include a denial of reality, especially the more recent, more negative aspects. It's a kind of refusal to take responsibility. In rare cases, amnesia. So you think that's what's happening to me? have developed a psychological disorder as a coping mechanism. I'm going to write you a prescription that should help you to manage your day to day. I understand reality can be very hard to face. Particularly in these difficult times. Particularly in your case. But reality is reality, Victor. All we can ever do is accept it. my phone yesterday? I found it. Yeah, it was in your pocket, remember? No, no, that's my other phone. 
can't just take company gear, you know? We're network security guys, remember? Come on, hand it over. Really? Yeah, look, maybe you don't care about keeping your job, but, uh, I sure as hell do. <laughs> Go ahead and keep your job, Chuck. No, look, ma'am, where are you going? Just look, relax, Chuck. This is not some kind of a game, all right? I want relax. that phone! Phone charger. And that what? An iPhone. Let me see it. I got nothing like this. What is it? Come on, man. It's an iPhone. They're everywhere. Well, I ain't never seen one before. No thanks. Talk I, about I think it. I'm just gonna lay low for a little while. Sure, man. But thanks for the sympathy call. Confused yesterday, not quite himself. Yes, sir. And today? I don't know. Uh, worse? More aggressive, kind of. He just walked in and grabbed what he said was his phone and failed. I think I'm going to be requiring your assistance tonight, Chuck. Me? Tonight? I'm gonna get there as soon as I can, I promise. I promise. 
promise, okay? Daddy, please. Jess, Jess, just hold on a second. Hold on. phone? I told you it's mine. I know, man. Just, um, come in and tell them yourself. They don't believe me. What's the big deal? It's a phone. Who knows, man? I, I, I guess everyone's just a, a little on edge after what happened to, to Gordon Stewart. Gordon? What happened to Gordon? They found him dead in the middle of Kiev. What? How? Rumors was a heart attack. I mean, you know how stressed out the guy was. Just come in and talk to them. Please. I see children singing the happy birthday song. This is Jessica on her seventh birthday. See, hey, look, and that's Natalie right there. Victor, what do you want to accomplish with this? What? This video you're showing me. What is your purpose? Don't you understand? Jessica is seven here. Okay, and look at the date on the email. It's from Natalie. It's two days ago. You explain that. Victor. You tell me that this does not look exactly like Natalie. Victor. This is my daughter, okay? The one you said died when she was three, and she's seven here, okay? Seven. What do you want me to tell you, Victor? That your little trick has convinced me of your mental health? Like this is a trick? 
Look, tell me something. Have you ever seen this kind of phone before? No, because it doesn't exist. Obviously the phone does exist because you're holding it in your hands. I think the problem is you. You haven't been taking the medication I prescribed. Come on. Pills. You want me to take more pills? All right, Victor. I'll play along. What's your explanation? I believe there was an accident at the collider. And then we shifted time. We shifted reality into an alternate timeline. An alternate universe, perhaps? Yes. A world where everything's gone wrong and your daughter died. Yes, absolutely. Victor, you'd prefer to believe that the universe changed rather than your mental health might be a tissue. This is textbook MRS. Tell me about this MRS. What about it? Well, you say that people take refuge in a fantasy world. Yes. A world where there are no tornadoes. Naturally. A world where the economy is completely fine. Yes, it's a form of denial. Exactly. Exactly what? It is a form of denial. The only question is who's. Fully expect her to crash any minute now. Grab a chair. I don't know what's happened, but she doesn't deserve to be in jail. Well, she's been getting worse and worse, Vic. What'd you expect? She just needs some hope. If I could show her this. Hey. I'm glad you've changed your attitude. I really am. But I wouldn't say hope is what she needs right now. You know, you never gave her the one thing she really needed after your daughter died. And what was that? Forgiveness. I'm sorry, Vic, but that's the way I see it. Thanks for your honesty. Anytime. Sorry, now. We're gonna have to break away as we're hearing very serious news about the catastrophic tornadoes hitting across the northwestern United States. Major storm and tornado warnings have been forecast for the following cities. Salem, Eugene, Portland, Baker, and all areas in President's gonna make an announcement soon. About what? End of the world. Take Helter Shelter, Bobby. Helter Shelter? It's an underground club just four blocks down. Can't miss it with all the bikers out front. Thanks.
shouldn't hey, be hey, here. Listen, I need to talk to you. Please, it's important. Where are you meds? Are you taking your meds? Uh, no, it's nothing meds, to do with meds? these meds. Well, I'm not going to talk to you until you're on your meds. Natalie. Listen, take a hike. Would you just mind your own business? The lady doesn't want you here. What's well, off? Anyway, sweet. You know what? Stop messing with me, okay? Natalie. You don't want me. Because I'm damaged goods, remember? No. And I don't want you. Listen, will you just come outside with me, please? I need to show you. No. This. I need to show you this. <clears throat> we gotta go. Come on. Let's go. Let's watch go. this. Please, Natalie, please. serious about the phone? Are you kidding me? You think this is about a damn phone? Oh, hey, 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 easy, easy, easy with that thing. You could kill him. Shut up. You need to relax. Listen to me. Just give him that thing. This is getting out of hand. The boss is going OCD. Just tell them where that phone is. I want to go home. That Where did you stab it? Leo. Why do you go So I didn't want to do this. You have a very good mind. But I just can't have you running around making trouble. You know, a lot of guys these days are using all kinds of exotic cocktails to treat a heart attack. So, like potassium, uh, Sintra mixes, glucinol, but me, I'm, I'm kind of old school. Cyanide in medium sized doses does the trick. It always always causes a heart attack. Well, maybe an aneurysm. It's never failed me in the past. Reliability. It's an important quality. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, 
always been more of a truth and honesty guy. <laughs> you think you're some kind of hero? Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Chuck. Yeah, I'm just doing my job, okay? I'm ah, just, just trying to get by, you know? I'm supposed to pick you up and take you in, yeah. okay? Ow! Hey, man, I get it. Easy. Easy. I thought they killed me. Well, maybe they, uh, they just wanted to let you know who was boss, okay? Would you please put that thing down, man? You're freaking me out. I just want to show you something. What does he want to show me? Seventh Detector? All right, man, I'm just gonna get up now, okay? Easy does it. You know you have a kid? She plays soccer, my daughter. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Susan. That's your wife's name. Susan Oakley. <laughs> Susan Oakley? <laughs> Susan Oakley. Where the hell did you get that name from? I went on like two dates with her. Like ten years ago. Let's find Leo. So, how did you know her? Who? Sue. Sue Oakley. She talking about me? I was pretty hot, you know. You remember your life with her, don't you? It's funny that you talked about us having a kid together. You know, sometimes I daydream about that. What is this? She's a little blonde girl. Cute as a button. What, are you telepathic now or something? How'd you know that? Careful down there. Is she coming? Not buddy. Good morning, Victor. How nice of you to join us. I would have been here earlier, but I had a hell of a hangover this morning. Good old Vic, and your biting sarcasm, how I've missed you. Well, 
What do you think of this place? Kind of puts the back end to shame, doesn't it? You're insane. Hmm. I'm insane in one frame of reference is genius in another victor. Can you see what we're doing here? You see you've hijacked the experiment. Or hijacked. Not terribly dramatic. These particles are colliding at much higher energy levels than we ever planned. This is what caused the time shift. Shattered time, Leo. What does this have to do with zero point energy? <laughs> energy, seriously? Zero point energy? Uh, zero point energy. It was never more than a cover story, Vic. for the politicians to have the funding we needed to build this facility, cover for the mines needed to engineer this marvel. Nobody's really interested in producing clean, free energy. I mean, how does anybody make money from free energy? So then why were we doing it? What is this all about? What it's always about. collide with enough power to shred space and time. The particles we record give us access to data from the future. Do you have any idea how much this is worth? What kind of edge that can give the savvy investor? The savvy investor? He destroyed time to beat the stock market. Don't be such an aristocrat, Victor. I seem to remember you coming to me, cap in hand for money. It's a source of all good things, is money. How the saying goes. I mean, just think of all the good things you could do if only you had a little bit more of it. My daughter is dead. Our world is destroyed. You tell me what good there is in that. Well, I will admit we've had a few teething troubles, but that's because we didn't have you on our side. Join us. Help us make it better. Make it work. to get a read on what the stock markets will do seven seconds in the future. I mean, this is revolutionary. Now, is it perfect? No. That's where you come in, my brilliant friend. The devil is in the details, and you, you have the mind to wrestle them down, to make them behave. Yes, I know. If you were worried, he will find that phone of his and he will deploy Stuart's little virus. Yes, I am. He won't. The consequences of that are a noble and Vic. It's far too conservative to take that kind of risk. Just give him time. He'll be back on his own. And he'll be far more effective if he comes here on his own terms. He has that wife of his to live for after all.
I'm the lead researcher for the Zero Point Collider. Really? Yes. Just listen to me, okay? Something happened when we had the collider at full power. There was an accident. Yeah, I know there was an accident. We talked about this before. No, I'm, I'm not talking about a car accident. I'm talking about something else. Leo Tarski was my partner. <laughs> Leo Tarski, the billionaire, is that who yes, it is? Yes, that, yes. Is that the one? Oh, and he oh, modified okay. the plan without my knowledge by creating a seventh detector that was capable of collecting data from the future. I know it sounds crazy, but it created a fork in the timeline. It created this reality. What are you talking about, Vic? This makes no sense at all. This reality is wrong, and Gordon knew it. That's why he tried to oh. warn me. He, he left me a code. I think it's some kind of virus. Then they killed him. Stop. Listen to me, with this code, I think I can bring everything back. Oh. Everything. You and I, even Jessica. You bring Jessica into this, do you understand me? Just listen to me, right? Do you have memories? What kind of memories, Vince? Memories. Do you, do you... No. Do you remember you and I? Do you remember Jessica playing soccer? Do you remember her turning seven? What about the cupcakes? Cupcakes, huh? Yes. Yeah, cupcakes. No, 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 I don't remember. Jessica that. didn't die when she was three. She just turned oh, seven Nick. old. You're not a bad mother. You're not responsible oh, for oh, her death. Thank you. Leo Tarski is, and I'm going to fix it. Uh, how are you going to fix that, Vic? Huh? I'm going to sneak into the collider, and I'm going to use the code. Please. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know what. Come on, we got to go. we got to go right now.
about this. I think we should go see Dr. Fong. I'm gonna do this. Vic, Vic, this fantasy of yours, it's not real, okay? And if you go out there, you're gonna die. I have and, to. Amy, I have to. You can't For go Jessica. out there. You can't go sorry, up there, I'm sorry, I'm gonna come back for you, all right? I promise. <laughs> to help out now over my dead body no not your dead body i need you obviously but how would you feel about your wife's dead body <laughs> no, i'm gonna have someone kill her and you're gonna walk yeah, she's in hell to shelter you know what to do i'll, go, I'll, I'll, I'll help you i swear i'll help you i promise just hold up on that order victor's had a change of heart I'm sorry I had to twist your arm like that, Vic, but the world is at stake here. Now we need to stabilize the reaction. Looks like your magnetic containment feels out of phase with your collision frequency. See? Now how do we fix it? Other than shutting the experiment down because that's the only way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I suppose you could try actively varying the phase. Whoa, 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 what's happening? There's no pulses. Gordon's virus. What are you doing down here? I take a what? Thought you might like to know in about uh, three minutes to the place over lunch. Oh, 
Vic. Get rid of Vic. I'm doing this, Chuck. Talk to him, Vic. You have no idea what will happen. None. I know whatever happens, you're gonna lose, Leo. Come on, I'll get you out of here. I'll go now. If I go, I'll go straight upstairs and take it off white. Well, I, I can't just leave you here. Go. Get back to Natalie. Go! See you another lifetime, pal. I'm do this thing. Done. Get back! Back off, Neil. Get back. I swear to God, I would love to put a hole in you. Thank <laughs> you. 
got Vic. <laughs> Daddy, you're not a very good soccer player. You okay? What happened? You were showing Jess how to kick and you slipped and fell on your butt. You sure you're alright? Yeah, I guess I'll live. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi. Daddy, you're silly. Well, maybe I'm just not such a great soccer player. That's okay. I love you, Nicole. I love you, too. I get out there and have lots of fun. work today. Leo Tarski? Arrested for stock manipulation? Yeah. Must have been wild. It was some kind of day. Yeah? Well, hey, thank you so much for leaving work today early. It means a lot to her. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs>